Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in previous videos, you saw how we created get, post, put, patch, and delete requests. Now there would be a use case that you want to run only one test or you want to skip some of the tests or there would be a, a, a request from your uh, client or your manager that runs specific tests uh, or with some patterns, right? So for that, we'll see how exactly we can achieve that. So uh, you would have observed that I was running specific files. If you see this command, okay? So I'm just running these specific files. Whatever test is under this uh, JavaScript file, it will execute. If you can quickly observe. Okay, it did not execute any of these files, right? Get, patch, post, put. Okay, now I want to run all the tests. Okay, and without specifying this name because it is going to be cumbersome when you start building the number of test cases. So let's see how we can achieve that. Okay, so you have to give a pattern, right? Uh, under API test, if there are any JavaScript file, execute them. Okay, so this is how you can give the pattern, right? npx moja dot forward slash API hyphen test forward slash star dot js. This will pick any of the test file which is under API test, which is this folder. So let's see if it, it is executing all the tests or not. Give a few minutes to execute. So it quickly ran. Okay. If you can observe that there are five number of tests which are passed, right? And from the console, if you start reading this console, you will find that put was executed, post was executed, patch was executed, right? And then get API was executed about that, delete API was executed. So all the tests which we created are executed, right? Now there is a use case that I want to skip this test. I don't want to execute this test, okay? So how I can achieve that? I can do this it dot skip okay so wherever you specify dot skip before it block right so it will be skipping those tests okay so i have given the pattern this pattern okay but out of five only four will be executed and one will be not executed let's see that as well okay We can see four tests are passing. One is pending. Pending is considered as skipped test. Okay. Now, even though I have given the pattern, right, that execute all the test cases which is under API test, but sometimes there is use case that I want to run only some set of test cases. How I can achieve that? I can do only. Instead of skip, I will be typing only. So it will be it dot only. Okay, so let's run. So uh, before that, uh, when uh, like we have given the pattern for to execute all the test cases under API hyphen test, but now what would happen is that four tests will be marked as pending and then one test should be passing. Let's see if we get this result or not. Only one test got passed. Okay. So these small tricks will help you in debugging as well. Suppose you have large test suit and you want to work on some specific test cases, right? So you can always uh, use only or skip. Okay. 
and uh, you would have seen that i have just used it with it but you can you also use it with describe block describe dot only or describe dot skip okay so uh, one describe can have many blocks of it right so what would happen is that if your tests are growing right you want to uh, create the scenarios different scenarios uh, for delete right so you will be writing multiple it blocks right and out of which i only want to skip some tests so it will skip that so what would happen is that out of five test test suits i would say for now uh, four will be executed and out of delete there would be the test which is not marked as only or skip will be executed okay that's all for this video thanks for watching this video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up